let's overwrite what we have uh, currently. So female, base mesh, continue, overwrite. So let's select these and we want to go back to putting these on the T-pose. Ah, crap. Wait. Did we delete the keys off our eyebrows? I don't think we did. We did not. Mm. All right. Close this. Hopefully it doesn't crash and do nothing crazy. If it does, it's fine. We have it saved. But what we want to do is we want to go and delete the keys off our eyebrows. And we don't want to do it within. Let's go. Um, we don't want to do it within this. I think it did crash. <laughs> um, we don't want to do it while we're creating our rig pose and creating all our stuff. We don't want that saved within our file. I think this did just crash. Oh, did not. All right, cool. So uh, we canceled it out, but to be safe, let's reopen our file since we saved it. So let's reopen our file. Don't save. You just don't want to have anything saved in there. It would suck if you did. You could go out and go off and delete it, but you don't want it in there while you're doing your build process. So let's go back to where our eye lids are or i mean our um eyebrows two three let's go in and delete these keys so now if we go into the face there should be nothing moving perfect all right so let's hit save again let's go outside of our outliner let's select our mesh let's do build rig Looks like it's still thinking. And if this doesn't build a rig like it did last time, then we might need to like uh, close and reopen Maya, but it looks like it's working. <clears throat> All right, continue. Now we're gonna overwrite what we had here. Continue, overwrite. <clears throat> Now let's go in and update our pose here. We're gonna change this to be a T pose, that classic T pose so that our mocap and everything works with it. So we're gonna do that arm, we're gonna do this arm, and then we're gonna scroll down to our legs. And then we're gonna click continue. We're gonna skip this step. We can bring our model over into view better. Click continue. Let's go back, click continue. There we go. So now we have our image and this looks correct build so you can change your revision uh, for your revision history you can change that to be like is 1.2 1.3 1.4 and you can put in what you changed and what you added so that's fine though we don't need to go through all that i think it's building the rig right now so i don't want to mess with it and then what we're going to do is once the rig is built, um, we'll go into those controllers that we have and we will uh, set some keys to make the eye move around and, and do stuff like that. <laughs> and then uh, we'll re-export that mesh out, open up Unreal, bring that animation into Unreal, and then see the, the face movement. We may need to exaggerate it a little bit. We can only get so close with it in Unreal for now um 
and then it should work. And then once that works, I would go back into uh, file number 18 or whatever it was for you for your save file and redo the other eye. And once you have the other eye, you can also go through this same step again, rebuilding that rig, setting it up, and you're good to go. But we're gonna we're gonna stay and do this process um, till its completion of testing it. So it should still be building the rig. It's 92% done. It looks like so we still got a little bit of time. But yeah, if you have any questions, please you know shoot me an email. It looks like everything built fine. Shoot me an email. Um, that's going to be in the description below. I'm more than happy to help out, look at your work, um, give you any tips or anything, or uh, just critique it if you want. All right, so let's go to a new scene. We can close this window. Now let's load in our character, RV2, add rig for animation, female, bring in your character, add selected. And what we're going to do is we're going to set some keys. We can just name this file I test. So uh, let's load in our picker, even though we don't have anything for the face on here. You can actually we can actually make a face picker. So when we get ready to animate the face, we can just load up the face picker instead of the body picker. Simple as that. But let's save this file and we can save this when we get ready to do our other scene to uh, in the animation folder. So that's our idle and our temp. Let's save this one as face test. Face tests, save. So uh, if we go back to, did we save this pose out? If we go to custom and we go to, did I save rig tool? No, it's not the same thing. That's just the picker. Did I not put in here already? Did I not put in here already the um, studio library? I thought I did. I thought I had that in here already. Picker. I don't, okay, so. I can't use that. I need to get that one here. Interesting. Um, what we're going to do is let's just put our arms down for now. Let's change these things back to zero. This is going to make them go back to FK. I just want to put our arms down by her sides just so we can see. I'm going to select this one and this one, rotate down. All right. So what we want to do is we want to do this in sections. So let's set a key. Let's go to frame 20. Set a key, 40. Set a key, just, just so we can see it moving. And then let's take our first and last key, do a copy, right click copy, and then come over here to 120 and we're gonna paste. <clears throat> so now we have our eye looking around. And so now we're going to select, if you go to the side, you can see the eyelids. We made them look at the, look like these points so we can set a key as zero. Let's do both. I think I, I separated these out where if you blink, Yes, I did. Great. Okay. It doesn't need to be uh, a 50 50 because if they're, if they're blinking like this and you're just rotating it, it's going to be 50 50. We don't need to do that. Um, but it will be easy to set our keys. So let's just set our key here. 
let's set a key on frame 10. We can blink, continue to blink. So now let's just select the upper one, go down more. Now let's select the lower one. All right, so now we can hold that. And then let's open the eye back up. Go back to your frame uh, one or zero, and then we'll open the eye back up. Paste. It's going to move that forward a little bit. All right. Now let's just copy these, copy and paste this. Um, copy and then come over to 85 and then just do a paste. So now you have blink, looking around, blink, looking around, blink. So we can move these forward a little bit more. All right, cool. So now what we want to do is we want to click save, go to our outliner. We want to select our root and our base mesh, not the underwear one, just the base mesh. And we want to export that out. Let's check our arms. Do we set keys for these? We did. All right, cool. So root and then our base mesh. We want to export selected. And we are going to export this. And we'll name this eye test. Or what was it? Face test. Because we can just keep reusing the same file. We are 120 frames. I want to check and make sure it's 120. See, this has 200. So you want to check that. It takes whatever the last frame is here so we want to change this to 120 so we don't have a lot of dead keys and then click export mesh all right that should be fine Go close our file is saved let's open up unreal so we can test our work bring it in you should still have the same uh, project that you have from before so let's just open up the old project Once the project is open, we want to navigate to where our file was saved and bring that in. So let's go to our animation folder here. And then we're going to go back to here to where our folders are located. Uh, face tests. So click and drag it into your scene. You want to load in your, let's do female, there you go. Select that. You don't need the mesh to be imported. Import all. There you go. 